Hello friends, this video on fractions and decimals part 13 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now that we have seen how to do multiplication of fractions, now it is turn for division. How do we divide fractions? Now the first question that comes to your mind is, why do we even need to divide fractions? Where do we come across such scenario? So let us look at an example. So what do you see on the screen? Yes, you do see a bar of chocolate. Now let's say that you have a complete bar of chocolate, but your mom strictly told you that you can only use half of it. So the remaining half you need to keep it for somebody else. So you can only eat the half of the chocolate. So that means this entire chocolate is there but it is not available to you. Only half of the chocolate is available to you. So all you have is this half of the chocolate. Right? So what you have? So what you have is half of the chocolate. Now suddenly what happened is six of your friends came in. And they said that they wanted to have the chocolate. So now you need to divide this chocolate among six of your friends. You are anyways not going to get anything. Maybe you can later try to get it from your mom. But right now you have to divide this half of the chocolate amongst six of your friends. So what you need to do? You need to divide half of this chocolate amongst six of your friends. But what would this signify? The result that you get on division signifies what, how much fraction of the chocolate each of them gets. Because when you actually divide this half of the chocolate into six equal parts, then what fraction of the chocolate did each of them get? That means what part of the total chocolate did each of your friend get? So the question is, how do we divide? That is what we are planning to learn here, right, in this section. So let us see exactly how do we divide. Now here our challenge is how do we do this? 1 by 2 divided by 6. How we will do this division? Now let us have a quick recap of what we have learned from division of whole numbers. Now do you remember? So this is just a recap from whole numbers. So do you remember that whenever you divide two whole numbers, for example 8 divided by 4, what does this mean? 8 divided by 4 is the same thing as 8 by 4, which is the same thing as 8 into 1 by 4. So whenever we say 8 divided by 4, it actually means 8 into 1 by 4. So a number being divided by a certain number is the same as the number being multiplied by the reciprocal of that number, that is 8 divided by 4 and 8 into 1 by 4 is the same thing, right? So we will follow the same logic here also. So when we say 1 by 2 divided by 6, so this number by which you are dividing, like in this case it was 4, so this number is called divisor. So if you remember your basic division rules, so when you divide 8 by 4, so you get 4 twos are 8 and this is 0. So what is this? This 4 is divisor, that is the number by which you are dividing. This number which is getting divided is called dividend. This number which you get here is the quotient and this balance that you get here is the remainder. So these are the important terms. So here in division of fractions, the divisor plays an important role. So here 6 is the divisor. So 1 by 2 divided by 6 is the same thing as 1 by 2 multiplied by the reverse of 6 that is 1 by 6. So now do you think you'll be able to solve this? Yes, it is just a multiplication. So numerator multiplied by numerator, denominator multiplied by numerator, uh, denominator. So this is 1 by 6 into 2 which is 12. So therefore we can say that 1 by 2 divided by 6 is equal to 1 by 12. So from this we can say that each of your friend received 1 twelfth of the chocolate. So this is how we deal with uh, division. So basically in division you have to remember one simple thing that you just 
find i mean whatever divisor you have just turn it upside down that is make the numerator denominator and make the denominator numerator so turn the divisor upside down and multiply it so here divided by 6 is the same thing as multiplied by 1 by 6 now what is how is this 6 and 1 by 6 related so that is when we talk about reciprocal of a fraction so what do we mean by reciprocal? So reciprocal of any number is that number which when multiplied by the number gives 1. So let us look at some examples. So let us take the example of 3. So 3 is a, a number. So is do you think that there is any number which when multiplied by 3 would give 1? Yes, of course, you can think of a number like this and that is nothing but 1 by 3. So when 1 by 3 is multiplied with 3, you get 3 by 3, which is equal to 1. Now, let's consider the number as 1 by 3. So is there any number which when multiplied with 1 by 3 gives you 1? Of course, that is 3. So in that case, you get 1. Let's think of some other numbers. Let's say 5 by 7. What is that number which when multiplied by 5 by 7 gives 1? It is 7 by 5. So what do we say? We say that 3 numbers like 3, 1 by 3, they are reciprocals of each other. Similarly for 5 by 7, 5 by 7 and 7 by 5 are also reciprocals of each other. 14 by 3. What would be the reciprocal of 14 by 3? It would be 3 by 14. Right? So these are all reciprocals of numbers. So one simple way, a simple tip to find the reciprocal of a number is just swap the numerator and the denominator. And that is going to be the reciprocal of the number. Now if I ask you what would be the reciprocal of 0? Because when we say 0, 0 as such is 0 by 1. Now when you reverse it, what it becomes? It becomes 1 by 0, which is not defined. So reciprocal of 0 is actually not defined. But other than that, when you take up any number, just swap the numerators and the denominators and you get the reciprocal. Now why we discussed reciprocal is when you uh, consider division of fractions, we actually need reciprocal because we, we actually need the reciprocal of the divisors. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.